Absolutely. I'm Rob Beamish and I'm the Minister of Princess Drive Baptist Church in sunny or normally sunny Colwyn Bay in North Wales. And I'm also now the uh, hub tutor for the Light College with Northern Baptist College, where I support uh, people who are training as pioneers and evangelists in ministry uh, through the Light College with Northern Baptist. Yes, the piece really is encouraging us to reflect on what we've been through in this whole lockdown experience. Obviously, lockdown was announced. We knew it was coming or at least we thought it was going to come. And then suddenly we were faced with doing church and doing faith in lots of different ways. And we're in lots of different contexts, lots of different experiences. And I just thought it was good just to have that moment to pause in the midst of all the, the rhetoric and all the stuff that's being talked about just in this moment to say, OK, what have we done? And then what are we going to do um, in the future going forward? Because everything has been so busy. If you've been anything like me, there's just been so much stuff to take in. And actually, we may have been comfortable with that or not. And as things are opening up, it's just good to kind of pause and say, you know, what are we doing and uh, why are we doing it? So that's why I thought it would be good just to reflect and ask a few questions. Yeah, the main point really that I'm looking to make or encourage us to, to think through is this reflection on why we've been doing what we're doing. Because basically, as soon as lockdown happened, there was this reflection and this kind of rush to the starting line, like the Le Mans race, to, to rush and think, OK, how are we going to do church? And obviously, a lot of people kind of paused, other people kind of dived into stuff, particularly in technology. And Heidi Campbell, who is a writer on digital religion for the last kind of 30 years, one of the first, really. You know, she said, OK, we're all thinking about kind of how we can use technology and how we can kind of recreate church online and all these different things. But actually, the question is, you know, what do people need the churches to be right now? And that was a valid question right at the start of lockdown and is a valid question going forward because technology can help us. It can serve us. It's not a not an evil, not even a a necessary evil um, but it's something which can be leveraged but the question is you know how do we use technology uh, to meet the needs of our local church and community and just think comparison culture is such a big thing because we might see churches down the road doing this and we might see people with amazing resources doing this and that and actually that might not be the calling that's upon our church community or where we're at or it might be and it might be we have to think beyond our kind of current experience of stuff into places that are perhaps quite uncomfortable but Heidi Campbell encourages us to think through okay what do churches uh, need to be for their communities right now and just because we can use technology doesn't mean that we should um, we need to be meeting the needs of the community around us and it might be dusting off a fan graph the OHP or it might be diving into the world of streaming and all these different things even going forward so just thought the article there is just to encourage us to have that reflection but to make sure we're not just doing stuff for the sake of it, but we know why we're doing what we're doing. Absolutely, because reflection needs a little bit of shape to it. And while some of the questions that we need to ask might seem quite obvious, they're really important to ask, you know, remembering that actually there's a great book. Andy Byers wrote a book called Theo Media that just reminds us God's always used media. God's always is a God who proclaims, who, who speaks. And actually, you know, we're proclaiming and we're speaking. So some questions then, you know, that fundamental question, what do people need from your church right now? You know, what is going to suit your community? We're not looking to, to platform like a you know, big church I mean, in North America or in Korea. We're not looking to have hundreds of thousands of people kind of interacting perhaps with our live stream. I get about you know, 10 views on my YouTube. But actually, so what do people need from your church right now and then what is the good news of the gospel in the time of global pandemic we want to we want to communicate the christian message we want to preach christian sermons we want to be christian churches so what does the gospel look like for people in this global pandemic and then how might them once you know what you want to communicate and get across to your community and what that looks like and the different people there then how might you use technology to do that and it might be that you have that in place or it might be that you need to 
speak to various people and companies about what there might be available for you. And there might be, you know, financial investment. We're looking at that at the moment in terms of saying this is what we need to do. But we can justify it because actually we have a clear sense of what we're doing. And then actually thinking through that, what does this mean for those perhaps on the fringe of our churches or for the housebound or thinking about accessible church? You know, for those with uh, additional needs or different needs and actually what this might mean in terms of going forward and thinking that perhaps, you know, is this just short term for you or is this really a long term project of integrating technology and different approaches into how we do church? But that fundamental question, what do people need uh, from your church right now? And what is the gospel then? What's the glorious news of Jesus in this pandemic for your community? Ask the spirit to, to point it out to you. Uh, for this time.